Well, welcome everybody. I'm Andrew Scott from Inside Asian Gaming. We're here once again at the Ainsworth Live booth, powered by uh, CDC Gaming Reports. And we're here with uh, Corey Roberts, a publisher of CDC. Hi, Corey, how are you today? Hi, Andrew. Thanks for um, coming together with this. It's been fun to have you in Vegas this year. I know it's been a while since you've been to Vegas and there's lots of people who have been waiting to meet you for those five years. And here we are. We're, um, we'd like to thank Ainsworth for hosting us here. You know, it's been a really fun partnership. Andrew's had some yeah. great conversations, yeah. which you'll see. Um, and we've had some interviews that will come out as well. So it's a unique uh, yeah, asset been, to this G2E. It's been excellent to have this uh, very professional quality uh, facility here. And it's been great to be back at G2E after being stuck in Macau for two and a half years for the pandemic, and uh, I didn't even I didn't even manage to get to the the 2019 show. So it's actually been it's actually been uh, four four or five years since I've been to the show. So it's been fantastic to renew uh, renew old uh, renew old acquaintances and to make new ones too. And the you know in, in Vegas here, it's absolutely pumping. It's so busy in town at the moment, isn't it? Yes, there's so much going on from the sphere. Every time we drive in, we see this uh, <laughs> yeah. massive sphere in the sky, and it's just it's always different. And um, you know, and then F1 is being prepared, so it's not just the Global Gaming Expo. It's it's uh, Las Vegas is hopping for the next many many months and it, you can really feel it here you know in macau we've been watching the 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 ggr numbers come out month after month after month in vegas and just going up and up and up and up and breaking that um one uh one billion uh, uh us dollar number you know each month month after month yeah. i just a wow vegas is really 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 pumping yeah and it'll be interesting to see how many people came to this show because tuesday i i don't remember 2022 feeling like that trying to go around and see everything going on in the floor. There was so many people here. The aisles are about 30 feet wide. It was still challenging to walk around, which is fantastic for our industry to see that. People are that excited about what's new. It was the opening keynote um, speeches. There were uh, with uh, Bill Hornbuckle and uh, Bill Miller and so forth. Mm -hmm. I, I actually counted the number of seats that they had laid out. There were 800 seats laid out. It wasn't absolutely full, but I think they got you know, the best part of 800 there. Okay, so let's move on to um, uh, what we're here for. And, and we're here to talk about uh, this uh, strategic partnership agreement between uh, our two companies. And just before we get into the details of that, I just want to thank you for your hospitality for me. Hey, I'm the only one from IAG this year <laughs> at the show, just me meeting the Vanguard, but probably next year we'll, we'll you know, maybe Ben will come along too and we'll, we'll bring a few more. But you've been uh, excellent hosts. Uh, we've been staying at the El Cortez with you and your team and uh, hanging out at your booth and you've really been looking after me very well during these few days. So thanks very much for doing that. You're very welcome. Well, you know, it's um, something that we added to our strategic partnership agreement is that when we're traveling away from our home bases, we we host the other party. And uh, it's been great to have you at the El Cortez, you know, it's uh, with those dinners and, you know, uh, strategic planning and all that kind of thing. It's um, it's really, you know, just been a fun week. To Look, it's, it's a lot better than being here on my own, be here with people <laughs> who are on the ground and know people and you in, it can make introductions. And of course, we'll reciprocate when you uh, come, and we have done in the past when you yes. come to Asia and we will, well, we will do it again. Yes. Perhaps we should talk a little bit about this strategic partnership agreement. We're here today making, making this uh, little video to document us signing a new deepened agreement through to 31st of December, 2024. Perhaps we can talk and explain to people who may not be aware um, of the history of this agreement and how it came to be. Yes, well, um, in fact, the, it started five years ago. Uh, the initial workings of it, we off extended the invite at the El Cortez. We host a yearly press party um, to Ben Blaschka, who was making the trip over to Las Vegas then. And uh, we were curious about doing business in Asia. And we saw Inside Asian Gaming as a very strong publication. And we wanted to learn more about them. Uh, so Ben and I, we, we talked and we learned that our organizations were pretty similar. Um, so we decided then to you know, cooperate and stay in communication. Uh, in 2019, CDC was looking to go to G2E Asia and we reached out to Inside Asian Gaming and they graciously uh, offered to uh, set up the hotel for us and you know, introduce us to uh, some figures in the Asian gaming industry. Um, and yeah, then from there, we really, you know, we had a strategic partnership agreement. We didn't know it yet. Uh, we didn't attach that phrase to it until we started having quarterly meetings and, um, you know, started 
uh, planning the um, our futures. Yeah, I, mean, I really like the way that it built up quite slowly. We didn't have yes. anything formal to begin with. It was just, I think we liked you, you liked us, and we, we just sort of saw um, kindred spirits perhaps in, in, in the way that we operated. I think both organizations mm. have got a very strong commitment to strong editorial about yes. the industry. We're really committed to that. We don't copy other people's work. A lot, a lot of other uh, media do. That was sadly a bonding point among <laughs> us is that over the years, we'd be like, hey, this website, this is your article. They just mm -hmm. reworded some words and they'd be like, thank you, Corey. And then, you know, yeah. it just, you know, that was one of the things we noticed is that there's a, a lot of press in the industry. And, you know, we, Inside Asian Gaming and CDC Gaming Reports share the same values. So that really just, you know, helped things, help us work together. And um, we, so we did our quarterly meetings and we started thinking how we can collaborate even further. And that's where the strategic partnership agreement was born. Um, you know, first, uh, Andrew, I believe you um, said that, you know, if we go to uh, G2E, uh, can we have a spot in your booth to put our magazines? And I was thinking that's a great idea uh, because, you know, that's a good way to visualize our partnership is that, you know, when you're in the US and if you're into Asian gaming, we think you should go to Inside Asian Gaming to get the best news and views there on the ground there and vice versa. Um, if somebody in Asia is into US gaming, uh, that's they then get us. So um, that kind of mutual referral and sharing has, um, you know, there's all those uh, clauses in here about that. And, right. you know. and, I, and I think that led to us then putting um, some of your stories every day on our breakfast briefing and then you yes, putting some right. of our content on yours every day. I think we started to introduce each other's brand names to our own readership bases as well. Yes, because um, the as many people know, the US and Asian industries are very connected, a lot of the same companies. So um, when there's news about MGM and when in the Nevada um, Gaming Control Board and those gaming commissions that we would be there in person, um, you know, the Asian readership would be interested to hear what's going on. And uh, likewise in Macau, with all the um, planning going on there and involving American companies, there's lots of people in Vegas who are financially invested in those companies. And um, they really, you know, it resonated well with our readers um, to get that information uh, from people on the ground in Asia. So we've now decided because it's gone so so well to to deepen this agreement. So um, you know what? Let, let's run through run through some of the things. So we're continuing to do um, content sharing. We have a we have a little bit of CDC, uh, a little bit down in our report every day. You have a little bit of IAG, a little bit down in your report. I mean, obviously we give our readership uh, their respective things that they're most interested in, but yes. it's a, it's a secondary sort of deliverable. We have a little bit of your stuff on our website. You have a little bit of our stuff on. Uh, on, uh, on your website. Um, what else do we, we have our quarterly meetings where we, we talk, I, I find those quarterly meetings very valuable. I don't know how yeah, you it, feel about that. It but. helps us as a company kind of um, make things become more thought out and planned. And it's also great to have, you know, the experience of another company who's in the same industry. Um, Cause there's not a lot of communication channels you can have with the right. other professional B2B press. So that's just an invaluable resource that we could, you know, cooperate. That's, um, I, I don't know for sure, but I feel like it's a one of a kind arrangement we have here where, you know, we, uh, we cooperate across continents and we've kind of um, decided what CDC covers and what uh, Inside Asian Gaming covers. In fact, part of our strategic agreement yeah, is... We've, we've actually mapped out territory, haven't yes, we? Yeah, yeah. Yes, this was Andrew's idea. And it's a really good way of thinking about things. Um, and keeping it logical and sustainable between our organizations. Yeah, so we're, we're basically, we've defined our, our, our territories everywhere from the Middle East to the international dateline inclusive. That's and right. And you guys have got your side of the international dateline and all the Americas. So yes. as far as we're concerned, that's that's very good. And it's very clear what you guys cover, and what we cover. And then of course, there are other stories that always come up in the industry that um, are, are relevant to both. You know, for example, recently, the. The, the cyber attack on MGM, you know, that yes. we were very interested in that too, because of MGM's presence in in uh, in Macau. Obviously, it didn't affect MGM and Macau, but that was an interesting story. Yes, and um, Genting, uh, yeah. they have the casinos, you know, around the U.S. and right. uh, but the financially, they're in Asia. So often, Ben Blaschka, mm -hmm. uh, managing editor of Inside Asian Gaming, will let us know that you know they revealed something through their Asian uh, parent company, and it's yeah. really valuable for us to get that, um, you know, insight right away. Uh, so we're not, you know, finding out about it, uh, 
you know, later because it's like, yeah, the the parent companies over in and Asia. I, and Asia, I think you mentioned before, it's really good to have another company that we respect and we we, we see your editorial values to be almost like a, a second look at our work or we could be a second look at your work or we could you know, point out something where we think, you know, you could have done this differently or you could do the same for us. And that's been really valuable in having that 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 connection. Um, we're also going to be uh, cooperating more in uh, trade shows as well. Uh, yes. Uh, maybe we can talk a little this, bit about that. Yes, this year is... Um, I guess kind of the official first start of that, where we like you, you actually have a physical presence in our booth. If you walk by um, our booth, you'll see a magazine rack of Inside Asian Gaming. They brought about uh, a box of uh, magazines yep. here, and at the top there's a QR code that you can scan and you can sign up for breakfast briefing, and um, that's a really nice combination because it's not just um, you don't just come to our booth for you know one thing. You get to come for two things and. I, I can see that, you know, going forward at uh, G2E Asia. Um, I guess this last year uh, we sent a banner your way, so that was yep. nice. Visu it visualized our strategic agreement. Uh, we're a digital publisher, so we don't have the magazine. So, yeah, in the past year, um, that part of the agreement has kind of, uh, you know, we've taken it advantage has. of it. Yeah. And it's, I think it's a, it's a, you know, people see it. And, you know, it uh, helps both of us. We had some CDC uh, branding, of course, in the booths in yeah. both Singapore and, and, and Macau. Uh, uh, this year, I want to be careful not to say last year, my head's already into 2024. And let's let's talk a, a little bit about 2024. So we'll be going to um, ICE, obviously, uh, yes. in February. Uh, G2E, of course, uh, uh, we, we will be coming here to G2E in October uh, with a bigger, it won't just be me, we'll be bringing some more people as well. Uh, in Asia, we uh, will we'll have, uh, of course, Macau Gaming Show. We will have the IAG event. We now have our own event, the IAG Academy Summit, which was an uh, inaugural uh, event this year, but we will definitely be repeating that next year. And there are a number of other shows. What, what about you in the US? What, what shows will you be doing uh, next year? Well, uh, the calendar kicks off with ICE, basically. You know, that's that's a great event. Um, in fact, we meet there often because it's kind of uh, a middle ground. Neutral territory. Yes, yeah, neutral territory. So, you know, we fly this direction, they fly this direction. And, um, you know, whether it's London or Barcelona, you know, we know yep. it'll be a, a good time and we can talk about what's going on at the show. Um, we also have IGA, Indian Gaming Trade Show, and we have SBC Summit. And there's some smaller events to do with like casino marketing and whatnot. So uh, we have a pretty busy schedule where that, you know, we'll be at a lot of events in the U.S. and the, the internationally focused ones, you know, we look forward to uh, collaborating on. I, th I think it, 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 with you mentioning those shows there, it, it reminds me of the, the concept of the Venn diagram. I think the Venn diagram of the two circles of our organization, the overlap is in a really nice sweet spot. It's we're not too different, but we're also not too similar, which I think is, is, yes. is great. Yes, yeah. that was um, that was important to discover that, uh, you know, our organizations have a lot in common uh organizationally ethically that kind of thing but as far as the you know the trade shows we have kind of g2e and ice in the, in the middle of the venn diagram yeah and then we all have like macau gaming show yeah. you mentioned that's not something we go to yeah. and uh iga is not something yeah. that yeah that we uh, go, go to. to so I, I think finally the other thing we could mention is um networking our networking and relationships are so important in our industry yes. and you've helped to introduce us to people we've helped to introduce you to people i mean i think both of our organizations are very little more than our readership lists you know the people that that read us and that we know have relationships with are, are really what make our organizations yes. to build and increase them is fantastic yes building those connections when you're um you know when you're overseas and you uh you know just don't know who to talk to yeah and then getting these introductions with these people that uh you know inside asian gaming trust and then you know that means it's a good uh person for us to connect with which just instantly gets us talking to the right people Yes, it's nice to be able to just ask another organization, uh, is, this a, is this a good person that we can work with or not, and cut through those two years of making mistakes. Yes. Yeah, that's very nice. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Well, without further ado, I suggest we go ahead and, uh, and, 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 and sign the agreement that we've uh, done. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. Yes. Last day of G two E, October. What is 12th. the day? What is the day? The twelfth, right? October twelfth. Yes. You can't just write day three G two E. No. Okay. I, we would we would both know what that means, though. Of course. <laughs> yes. Okay. Very good. All Swap right. With you.
Very good. Well, all right. That's great. Yes. Well, well thank you, Corey. Thank you for um, uh, being part of this partnership, and uh, it's it's great for us to be strategic partners for another another year through to the end of 2024. Yes, absolutely. It's great that we're thinking kind of um, through the year. You know, this covers through G2E next year, and next G2E we will. Uh, you know add on and hopefully, you know, expand our partnership even more. Exactly, exactly. We, we intend to uh, hopefully expand and deepen the partnership and do this every year. And who knows, it might become multi-year over time and who knows where it ends up. Yes. Great. Well, I think that's it from us here at G2E. Uh, very, I tried to try very hard not to say G2E Asia here at G2E in Las yes. Vegas. So uh, thanks, uh, Andrew Scott from Inside Asian Gaming uh, signing out for now. Corey Roberts, CDC Game Reports, signing out for now as well. We'll see you next time. Thank see you, you next time. Thank you. Bye.